A lot of great games came out this year. Baldur's Gate, Zeldor, Tales of the Kingdom. Honkai Star Rail. My wife keeps telling me Honkai Star Rail is a... Uh, Honkai, Honkai Star Rail. She keeps telling me that's the game of the year. Every time she boots it up, I'm so... Uh, I'm hit with a barrage of UX elements that I simply cannot fathom what is even going on. When she gets into the game, I get it. I get it when she gets into the game. She's tapping on enemies. She's uh, doing 9,999 damage every time she presses the button. It's, it's, it's great. When she's in the menu, I'm like, what the heck is nature's virtue? What the heck is uh, the benevolent maudlin? Like, what is this? Why do you keep putting your credit card number in? There's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of things about it confuse me. But Now, if you're wondering where we are in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre experience, we are still trying to get a level three cook. The end. That's about it. Also, you are in Texas. That's true. I mean, you don't want me to give my real opinion on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Because people aren't ready for... Well, we go through the same shit every year. <laughs> I'm not knocking Zelda, Starfield, Baldur's Gate, Armored Core, etc. But like at the end of the year, I'm always like, my favorite game is the game I enjoyed playing the, must, the most. And people are like, wrong, bitch. It's the most important game of the year. Really? You bought Slay the Spire number one? Slay the Spire number one followed by Tetris 99? It's God of War for PlayStation 4. It's a, it's, it solidifies my opinion that games are art. That's fine if that's what you like. Me personally, I'm... I think as a... I'm, I'm a weird gamer. I treat movies the way that gamers treat games and I treat games the way gamers treat movies. Most of the time, if I'm choosing a movie to watch, I'm like, I want something that's going to make me feel. Most of the time when I'm choosing a game to play, I'm like, flashing lights will hypnotize, sparkle my own eyes, please. Whereas I feel like most gamers are like, I play important games. I'm on my 10th playthrough of Disco Elysium. And then for media, they're like, I'm on my fifth rewatch of the One Piece live action. And I'm like, didn't that come out three days ago? And they're like, yeah, I was busy. Sorry, I'm putting myself in the, in the right frame of reference to commit murder. I was not thinking when I bought these hoodies, by the way, that I need to... These hoodies look good on me, but it makes it really difficult to cut out my own head for thumbnails because the whole frame is just beige. My skin is beige. The shirt is beige. My face is beige. My neck is beige. The wall behind me is beige. The, sh the shelf is the, the closest thing we get to some kind of delineation here. No blood bag in here? Excuse me? What, what just happened? None blood bag left beef? How close are you to level 3 cook? I don't even want to say. I'm a long way away still. I don't even think I'm at level 2 yet. <laughs> and I've been playing pretty well, I think, man. I think I've been doing okay. Any blood bags over here? We already got that one. Isn't there normally a blood bag over in, inside? Inside of this, so there's one right here. Peter Pumpkin just became fertilizer. What is that from? Oh, that's, uh, you tried to trick me. That's Frozen too. You think I don't know? Peter Pumpkin just became fertilizer. And we're all a little older and wiser, something like that. That's why I believe in certain certainties. Oh, some things never change. And I'm a Frozen 2. 
I'm a frozen one apologist and kind of a frozen two hater, if I'm being honest with you. I'm going to save one padlock for over here. But by, would, by which I mean that I am actually not a Frozen 2 hater. But I think Frozen 2 had a lot of backlash and then is now in the part of the ecosystem where it's getting too much credit. I think the songs in Frozen 2 are worse than the songs in Frozen 1. I think the story is uh, about the same level of quality. I think Frozen 1 is like a... I think that's a solid, I mean, you gotta keep in mind, this is for general audiences, right? This is for, for kids and parents and, you know, people who don't watch A24 movies, which is completely fine. I personally think that Frozen, within the context of Disney films, Disney animated films, is like uh, an eight. And I think that Frozen 2 is probably like a six and a half, and that's A-OK. -okay. Why are you talking about Frozen 2 while you're playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre? That's true. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> you got me there, but, you know, I'm the one who's laughing because I got level 2 grandpa here. Hey, excuse me, somebody's just opened this gate? Oh, it was you, sissy. It was me! It was me all along! What's a 10? A 10 for... Um, animated Disney films? That's tough, man. I mean, like... I think of the recent ones, like within the last 15 years that I've seen, Moana is really good. The Pixar movies from the Pixar Golden Age before they lost the secret sauce. I don't know if I'd say they're 10, but they're, they're, they're quite good. Lion King? Excuse me? This was off the whole time? What, what the heck are you doing, sissy? Oh, actually, canonically, in esports, it's the cook's job to... Oh, is the cook's job to do everything? Okay. Say it ain't so, Rivers Cuomo. I guess that's just true. In solo queue, it's your job to do everything. My Lyft driver's profile photo was the top half naked bulk dude. Can somebody explain what my wife is saying? <laughs> top half naked bulk dude. Was it him? Like it was him half naked? Yes, he was like a bodybuilder, but he was driving the tiniest car. That is funny. It's the largest car I could afford on my salary. Hang on. That dude, well, we don't need to get into it, but I, I think that he is, uh, he's looking for something other than a, a ride share. Let's just put it that way. Let me guess, it's the generator. Big Ed discourse. <laughs> I saw the picture of Big Ed. I have no idea what the context was, but yes, he was completely naked in a swimming pool. Um, and someone said he looks like uh, exactly like a Goron from The Legend of Zelda, the Ocarina of Time. And he does. And I don't think it's good to body shame people. Our, our leather face is insane, man. I have done nothing. I don't think it's good to body shame people, but apparently he's not a good guy. So I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, this was already open. Okay. I mean, people aren't... Maybe people are very ready for this take. Hello. I'm saving my stamina. They're over here! Uh, almost everybody... On 90 Day Fiance is a bad person. And I mean that with complete sincerity. Okay, my stam is too low. Um, even the people who are otherwise, like, friendly on the show, you know, they're not uh, outwardly 
insane or toxic. Hang on, I'm the best to ever do it. Um, even those people are kind of enormous assholes in my opinion. Because, I mean, just to be honest, maybe you don't want to hear this take, maybe you do. Most of them are old men who are taking advantage of economic disparity on a global scale in order to marry a, a, a much younger woman. Like, you might say they're just lonely, and I'm sure that they are lonely, but they're not doing, like, you know, online dating in their own country to meet other, like, 50-year-old women that are the same age as them. They're always like, I'm gonna marry, like, some... 19 year old girl from Thailand or Brazil or Colombia or something like that I mean you, you Leatherface you camp it here for a second. I trust you I'm gonna go feed grandpa and we're gonna get this last guy killed for sure It wouldn't be too interesting the other way. Oh, I know I, the show would suck if it was like I'm old and I'm doing online dating <laughs> with other old people. <laughs> Dude, Cook's pants are like me when I have my period. Kate, what the hell is going on? She's she's going crazy. She's off the perk, man, in my chat. My chat can't handle that level of realness, okay? They still don't think that girls even poop. Much less menstruate. They made it! What the hell? Or, or are they just loud? What the hell is this sound? What's going on here? Why is that door so loud? <laughs> I don't think this guy's getting out, man. First sentence, oh, oh, that's sissy. First sentence on stream, me when I have my period. <laughs> I was laughing when somebody tweeted me like, uh, they were like, what are your thoughts on this image? And oh, hello. And it was um, someone on Twitter losing their mind. They said, Normal people find it disgusting to imagine any of their relatives having sex. It's called being a normal person, you fucking freak, or something like that. Um, and they said, what are your thoughts on this? And I simply, uh, I went to memegenerator.net and I searched Dr. Manhattan meme. The one where he points and Rorschach explodes. And all I put on... Uh, all I put on Dr. Manhattan was your parents have had sex at least once. And Rorschach was exploding. Got him. <laughs> I'm the best cook in the whole game. Are you dead? Did you disconnect? What happened? He just gave up. He just fell. <laughs> Dies of cringe. <clears throat> Me every Monday. Oh man. I would say that's that's us at nine forty one. Our uh, open parentheses. Our daughter finally said good night at nine forty and fifty two seconds. Our leather face was really good that time. I think I did fine, but our leather face was the carry. How about period poops, though? I'm not grossed out by this, by the way. I think there is a double standard. Like, all I ever want is fairness. That's why I talk about the differences between men and women's bathrooms. But, like, Men 
if we get eight dudes together, we play London or something like that. I guess we, if, okay, we get three dudes together, we play London. We're like, how good does coming feel? If you have, oh, coming, shitting, puking, burping, farting, coming. Like, it's just that over and over. And everyone's like, ah, ha, 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 I feel like if there was a, a, a stream or a podcast of like three women on Twitch and they're like, I was, I masturbated. People would be like, what? I was pooping on the toilet the other day. They'd be like, excuse me? There's a double standard, man. You're a rare non-misogynist? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I beat the odds. I beat the allegations. You know that if men had periods, it would become like the number one fodder for stand-up comedy ever, right? Some dude with Gregor Mendel's hairline would get up on stage and be like, so my period happened last week. And everyone in the audience would be like, oh, here we go. Here we go, dude. I love when he does the period bits. Bro, come on. we had a great leather face last time. Why did we alienate our leather face? Did you hear Limmy spent 45 minutes in the lobby waiting because no one would take leather face? <laughs> I believe that. It's crazy that Gregor Mendel is your example of someone who has a bad hairline. I always think about it because I've, I've told this story before, but in grade 11 or grade 12 biology, you know, we, we got the textbooks from the class that had them the year before. And next to Gregor Mendel's picture, there was a, a writing in ballpoint pen that said receiving hairline much. So I will never forget what Gregor Mendel looks like. We have a, le a level 40 leather face on our team. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. I mean, I didn't even know you could get to level 40. That guy loves killing. You got to hand it to her. She married him for money. Wait. <laughs> you got to hand it to her. She married for love. She loves money. The situation roast of Donald Trump. The situation roast of Donald Trump. The situation bombs at Comedy Central's roast of Donald Trump. He failed to draw laughs when, referred, when he referred to Trump as Donald Chump. He also insulted the other presenters, calling Larry King old and Lisa Lampanelli fat. Me when somebody uh, hurts my feelings at a roast. <laughs> we got to rehabilitate this situation. Thank you for the raid, by the way, Go Off Kings. We're talking about the 2011 roast of Donald Trump. Can you believe that uh, the situation bombed? He got no laughs when he called him Donald Chump, and yet Saturday Night Live did exactly the same thing from 2016 to the present day, and people love it. And by people love it, I mean nobody talks about it ever, but it probably gets shared a lot on Facebook. I'm gonna make a sandwich called the Donald Trump. It's two slices of white bread, uh, full of bologna and served in a real pickle. Finally, they start me with the damn blood bag here. <laughs> oh no, dude, it's dark outside. Oh, baby. 
I ain't getting no sleep because of you. You ain't getting no sleep because of me. Didn't this situation go to prison for tax evasion? Are you saying takes one to no one? Like, is that, is that the discourse here? Based, based, based. <laughs> He was also ma cellmates with the fire festival guy. Shouldn't they have to keep like celebrities apart from one another? Like I feel like if there's two celebrities in prison, they shouldn't be able to share a cell. Why? I don't know. Is they can fucking I don't know. It's not much of prison if you're in jail with a celebrity, right? Like if it was me in prison and they're like, "Here's your cellmate, Matthew Broderick," I'd be like, "Oh shit, I should have done those crimes earlier." This is Ferris Bueller, bitch. Turns it into a sleepover. Exactly. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, oh, 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 they're getting bone scrap in the basement, Leatherface. By the way, I'm not trying to be mad at anybody by any stretch of the imagination. D.L. Guiga. Kip Casper, Cosmo Kramer, nobody saw fit to join me uh, on any of my four Peloton rides this morning. Kind of fucked up, don't you think? It's a, a Tuesday after Labor Day, I get it. Like, people got shit to do. I mean, you got kids that need to go to school or something for the first time in a while. But, like, it's a little lonely out there. Post-Labor Day? I understand. Post Malone, I don't understand. No shot, you do four 90-minute rides? I don't do four 90-minute rides. That's insanity. I did four 30-minute rides. Sorry, Johnny. I, I took your precedent there. I mean, four 90-minute rides is, is six hours. Like, that's... We're not there yet. <laughs> Did I? I just saw someone over here. I must maintain stamina and then rush them down. It's possible Johnny didn't turn on the car battery as well. We at least should check. Did I just see movement over here? I hey, someone was here! They're out, brother! Do you hear someone saying someone has to help us? Like, I mean, I see you. I simply cannot let you go, though. Like, I, everybody else has already escaped, so I gotta stay on your ass. Wow. I mean, these guys were good. There's no, there's no way I could stop her, honestly. <laughs> I could get one swipe in, but there's no way I'm killing her. Good survivors, honestly. Bye! The other killer has literally one job. All they have to do is turn on the car battery, but nobody ever does it. Are you saying the cook is being very real when he says, I can't rely on nobody around here? You could have closed the gate? Yeah, but like when I close the gate, like all she has to do is walk up to it and press E. It's not like she needs to redo it. I already used all my damn padlocks. I'm still playing the cook. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not swapping. You don't want to see me? You don't want to see me as Leatherface. You don't want to see my hand where my hip be at? What does the car battery do? It electrifies the corrugated aluminum that is uh, underneath that exit. You could save a padlock for that situation. This is, we're now getting into time machine Andy. Because if you spent the whole game with one free padlock in your inventory, every comment would be like saving a padlock for the next game, are we? I 
That's not what corrugated means? Come on. It's, it, it goes like this, right? That's corrugated. I thought corrugated was a, a geometric description. Or is it, does it go through a corrugation process at the factory? I'm just saying. When I, when I have colleagues on my ride, I just feel, I feel like I'm in the, the peloton with people. I'm, I'm at the Tour de France. And sometimes I'm playing the role of the equipe. What's the, what's the dude who tanks all the wind resistance so that Lance Armstrong can get all the glory at the end? And sometimes I'm Lance Armstrong. It depends who's on the ride. But we got no Corey on the ride anymore because he's recovering from post-COVID symptoms. I got no Apollo because as soon as you get a dog, apparently you can't ride a bicycle anymore. So I'm, I'm leaning on chat here. I got no problems myself. I already pedaled through the abyss for like 14 months when I, I had zero other friends on the platform. His bike broke? I, if, his, if Apollo's bike broke, I apologize. Because that sucks. I don't think the dog ate it. It's made of steel. Help him fix it? I'm not that kind of guy. I would be happy to help if I knew what I was doing, but I'm, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> the pedal straps? Ain't no straps on that thing. You're clipping in, brother. What do you think this is, a Schwinn? This ain't a damn Huffy, okay? How many species of birds can you identify out in the wild? Robin, pigeon, Canada goose, seagull, eagle, hummingbird, shoebill, <laughs> stork, pelican, duck, blue jay, crow, turkey vulture, blue footed booby. Sparrow? No, I wouldn't know a sparrow, honestly. I think a sparrow to me is just a bird. What's the difference between a sparrow, a, uh, a chickadee, and a finch? Don't blame me. I voted for Gary Johnson. That's what you sound like right now. Okay, where the hell am I? I know where I am. Step one, act as if you can't rely on anybody else in this world. I'm going to keep it a buck fifty with you. Everyone you meet in this planet is a snake, okay? So what's the first thing you do? Lock on the front, lock on the back. The generator starts on. Is there a car battery on this map? I don't remember. If there is, it must be out the back door. Like Credence Clearwater Revival. Whoops. Oops. What's your favorite fish? I mean, to eat? Brother, it's hard to compete with a halibut, quite frankly. The only problem is it's, it's damn expensive. And I, uh, believe it or not, my ass is real cheap. I'm buying whatever... Hello? I see you. I am buying whatever is on sale at the grocery store deli counter every single time, which means I am just eating ham sandwiches pretty much nonstop. <laughs> what the hell is this? The door is not even closed, much less locked. You, come, you coming out, brother? Just make sure you lock it when you come through. Okay, he's, he's going to do it. Chad, be real with me. Is there a car battery out here? Or is this generator zone? This is the generator.
car graveyard has the, the car battery. You know what? And this one, I think our, our hitchhiker is crazy, bro. I'm just going to use my other lock right here. Because I don't know where the car battery is. It's way out back. Okay. You, I mean, listen. Straight up, that's my job. So, I'm not going to just give up on my job. Sorry if that offends you, Gen Z. Or whatever. Um, why do you stream at normal human hours? Great question. Did you know, I'm, I'm, it's crazy to me. I think it was, it was either Sunday or Monday, which is yesterday. I was talking to my friends who are streamers. We got that full lobby for Texas Chainsaw Massacre set up at like 6.10 a.m. Pacific time. That shit is fucking crazy. 6.10 a.m. on a Monday? Now you're going to say it wasn't a full lobby? Yeah, but enough people RSVP'd to make it a full lobby. I don't know what the hell happened that, that it ended up only being six people. Because before we started, we had eight. But anyway. <laughs> oh, what's going on in here? Oh, they're killing Grandpa! Do you need my help? I mean, you got to take the, the easy one where you can get it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Kill steal. Is this locked? Always oh, locked. Hello, Leatherface. Man with face of leather. Just, just chill. Bro, chill. He was going to lose the quick time event anyway. <laughs> what kind of weapon is that? Uh, this is DLC. This is uh, what's known as a Slim Jimmy. <laughs> Boy, that sounds so much worse. I guess because it sounds like an extra small condom. Usually people buy the extra large, even though they don't need them, in my opinion. I buy them because the foil is gold. We are not the same. I think I, I hear someone in there, but I could also just get some blood. Leather face on your team, so you're losing. Yo, Dre, stick to producing. Are they escaping, bro? What's going on out here? Everybody shut the heck up. There's something going on here. I, I saw some... There was some light movement over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way. This lad's by the Jenny. Shiny logo. Uh, it gets me every time. Shiny happy logos holding hands. You in there? More librarian outros. So true. Dude, Kate showed me the Texas Chainsaw Massacre clip where I'm like stone-faced running away from Leatherface and then I slam the door in his face, but I can't see it because I'm running. Only Corey can see it and Corey's perspective is like Leatherface his player model immediately rotates 180 degrees and then instantly falls straight down onto the ground on his back. <laughs> it's, it's really good. REM poster gonna love that one. I'm a noted REM enjoyer. I feel like, I mean, again, it's not going to make me too popular with the Gen Zs, with their, with their, uh, their Hames or their Hyams and their Carly Rae Jepsons and their Phoebe Bridgerses and stuff like that. But I, two most underrated bands right now, 
like not in terms of what they're making now because one of them doesn't make anything and the other one doesn't make anything worth listening to anymore. But um, REM and, and U2, man. U2 heavily slept on for their 80s catalog and some of the 90s as well. REM, I feel like you just never hear people talking about them at all anymore. I'm checking doors. This door has not been touched. Uh, they're still in the basement, bro. He's got hops. Oh. Fine. I'll do it myself. Except I don't know how to get there. <laughs> Probably this door. Leatherface do be chopping down here, huh? I close this so that I know if they go through there. I know this area. Hey, Leatherface, over here. Leatherface, Leatherface, don't take the open door. Leatherface, take this door right here. You're doing great, kid. Keep it up. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Go. You're faster than me, Adam Driver. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, they're through there. They're through there, Adam Driver. <laughs> Woo. I don't think that that was kill stealing. I think that was great teamwork, and I just happened to be the I happened to be the guy who landed the final shot on that one. I would never have predicted that I'm hello going to be one of the best to ever play this game. Where did they go? Where did they go? Back into the basement? Back to Womps? Play a sweet game instead of a violent game? I, I mean, I played sap from, times to, from time to time. I've been, known, I've been a known sapper as the day is long. I just haven't played it recently on stream. Papa's Freezeria? Now that is a sweet game. I'm kind of, I haven't been eating that much sugar, but I'm definitely kind of on my, my sugar arc, man. I think ever, it makes perfect sense, by the way, but ever since we went to Disney World, and I was like, you know what, I'm on vacation. I'm going to put sugar in my coffee. I was like, no wonder people do this every day. I mean, I'm not going to let myself, you okay? I'm not going to let myself do it every day, because I'll fuck up my, like, pancreas forever. But like when I'm on vacation, a couple sugars in the coffee is like, it tastes amazing. Honey Nut Cheerios taste amazing. I'm, I'm so glad that there was no vector at the grocery store the last time I went, so I was forced to get Honey Nut Cheerios. You know, a box of, a family sized box of vector lasts like five bowls for me. And I'll admit, I'm eating some big bowls of cereal, okay? So I'm not saying that that's typical, but it's, it's the damn truth for me. This box of Honey Nut Cheerios, I would say I've had 12 bowls of it at this point. And it was, the Honey Nut Cheerios were cheaper. It, the box is the same size. My life pro tip here is if you've been eating flaked cereal, get a ring cereal, man. It just lasts longer somehow. Probably because inside of the ring is air, but...
Try a ring cereal, man. It might change your life. Okay, I mean, there's one left. He's still in the basement. <laughs> oh, man. Level 5 grandpa, final survivor. Lad is still chilling downstairs. I mean, you gotta hand it to him. He's doing his best. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna not um, let them sneak out. That's exactly what we don't. We don't hard chase the basement here. You're lucky. I got no stam, brother. Oh. Okay, you, you should have gone for Leatherface. Oh, we got us both, actually. Okay, he, what, is, what is he doing here, though? Okay, we're the best to ever do it. Kill steal? Kill steal? Huh? 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 What'd you say? Huh? 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 I can't hear you, huh? Huh? I think he just gave up, which is fair. Do you actually like Okonomiyaki? I don't like it at all. I, I eat okonomiyaki like once every three or four years, and I'm like, I kind of enjoy it. I definitely don't, I don't love it, but I think it's, it can be pretty tasty, but I would never like seek it out. Takoyaki, I, I very much, I will, I'll seek it out on occasion. I'll, I enjoy a takoyaki from time to time. In my opinion, though, the best yaki, in my sincere opinion, is yakitori, which is the little skewers of meat that they cook over the hot charcoal coals. Problem is, I don't know if it's just like a Vancouver plus Japan thing, the shit is too expensive. You go to Zakushi in... Vancouver and you're like wow this is delicious then you realize every skewer is like four dollars and fifty cents and you leave and it's like a hundred bucks for two people to eat and it's still you're you're hungry at the end of it because all you ate was protein 